if I wasn't woke or if I wasn't telling the truth, I knew we were, I've been saying we're in our ending days. And you know what? I know there's going to be a spiritual war. This always has been. It's never been about the flesh with me. I honestly care less. But see, being alone all the time, it's already been a fight with me. Understand. I've been fighting for 30 years. Call me like the next Yoda or something, okay? Like the Corinthians, the Corinthians say, may the Lord be with you. Yeah, basically, may the force be with you. Understand. <laughs> it's not, I'm not a religious person. I mean, I, I mean, if you want to call me Christian, fine. That's why they take away my voice every single day. But spiritual relationship, I got it from the most high. You see, you think, I don't know, but I do know. See, you fight, if you fight a flesh, then you ain't of God. You see what I mean? Like, if you're fighting the flesh, you're already lost. If you fight a flesh and walk by sight and you don't walk by faith, you're already lost. You see, you don't have to fight. You see, there's God's battles. And regardless of what the enemy things got going on. But you see, the difference is between everything else. I didn't say I was perfect or say I know it all, but I ain't full of crap. I ain't full of crap. They put all kinds of, you know, put stuff on me. But you see, I was trained to take all of that. I've been through all kinds of pain. From fle fleshly getting whooped. Discipline. Um, learning how to be, you know, saying, holding my own semen, whatever the case may be. Not falling for the uh, sex or whatever the case may be. I haven't, I've have been single for three, well, how many years? Three, three or more years, three and a half years, and having no sex for three years. You know what I'm saying? That the only thing I did was ejaculate one time out of so many months, like about a year or more, so something like that. But other than that, I mean, even it was a setup where, you know what I'm saying? Even the spirits, Set me up where I got in a wreck. You know what I'm saying? They try to knock me down. But every single time I get back up for my God, no matter what. I've been in a relationship. I've been following Christ for so long. Yes, I have even my ups and downs, the most imperfection. You're like just because we you're with God doesn't mean your relationship you know, you have, you will bump heads with God. Understand, I bumped heads with God before. But not like all the way. I wasn't trying to fight God all the way, but I said some horrible deep stuff that I didn't ever meant. But he has given me a second chance. But you know what I'm saying? But there is a Satan, there is a devil, there are demons, there are and the Antichrist is rising, and it's more than just one Antichrist. But you see, they'll do anything to say they're greater than God. No, there's only one God, and there is only one greater source, and that's the Almighty High, the Alpha Omega, beginning and the first and the last. Now, is it a fight? Yes. I've been fighting all my life. It's never a, a certain time, oh, when is just a fight. But yes, I am more woker than woke than woke than woke because I knew this all this stuff was going on. <laughs> it's in the truth, the big book of truth. Understand. It's in the biblical truth. You see, I never was really about flesh. I never really color what skin or uh, color, or you know, seeing it. it's not even the color. We are all shades. We're not even colors. The color is like blue, red, green, orange. You know, blue. You know what I'm saying? You know, purple. That's colors. 
You know what I'm saying? What we have on our skin, our skin, this is a complexion. It's a shade. You're not black. You're brown. If you want to be technical, you're not black as as in this cup. You ain't black as in this cup. And we sure enough, you know, white as this this label right here. The AMY as this label. So that's where people need to stop thinking about first. Understand spiritually, you got to be grown. You got to mature. You're saying, yes, understand. I understand fully. <laughs> I know. You know what I'm saying? I've been on the sun. I have. You don't tell me how I live and think I'm full of crap. Ain't no way. Because I go, I, did, I move as long as I can. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I got in a wreck. <laughs> it's hard for me and sometimes. Ain't nobody trying to help me out, move, or try to massage me, make me better. You know what I'm saying? I have to find doctors in my appointments. I have to make my appointments still. Get them on. Even though the spot is out line, a hip out place. Because the devil I knew was trying to stop me from my tracks. And God put me through a test all my life. And guess what? Maybe this is the point in time that I try to teach you guys something, a little something, something. Um, but, uh... I hear every day without judging. Understand. I know there's going to be mockers. There's going to be scoffers. I know there's going to be people that are upset or no, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. But that's what you called. Be wise like a serpent, harmless like a dove. Understand this. I know that the enemies want to see me destroyed. Okay, but they, they don't actually want to see me destroyed. They just want to see God's people destroyed. They were they're jealous of God. They the, the misery loves company. They'll take what you love and everything else just to see you have a bad day because they take that that joy out of you to get there what they want. And they will cause rumors, they will do anything and out the ordinary. They will do anything to destroy you and not see you. You see, but the best thing you could do is be happy and move on. And guess what? They'll show no revenge at all. Don't hate on them. Pray and let them be blessed. Pray for your enemies. Love your enemies, actually. Um, because the reason why you do that, because that way, anger, pride, and ego, and uh, gossiping won't, you know saying, be part of you. It won't favor you. Actually, you show more love. I mean, but then again, you know, yes, you're a warrior, of course. You know what I'm saying? You have to fight, but it don't, I mean, this cussing doesn't make you, or, you know what I'm saying, or soothing somebody, or, you know what I'm saying? That's fighting against flesh, as in spiritual, but if you have to, yes, the thing, but, see, other than that, see, just remember this. If you have to behind a weapon, that's because you're a coward. Because that's their, you know, that's their security. But if you don't have, if you don't use a weapon, why should they use a weapon on you? Don't give them a reason to. You see, it's the only one person that is insecure is the one who hides behind it. See, he's, you know, and I and I get it. I understand. But why are they so mad? Because they know you're right. They know you're right. And they can't stand to be wrong. But then again, just remind them, hey, you know what? You're good in my book. Pray and be still. Pray for them. Bless them. Let them eat. Let the enemy eat. You feel what I'm saying? Let your enemy eat. Because if you let them eat and drink, whatever the case may be, give them what they want. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when they eat, they flee. When you when you when you um resist, they flee. You see, one thing the devil can't do, that's read your mind. Only God can. And God knows that what your heart intentions are. If you have a good heart intention, you're fine. But just know who your Lord and Savior is and remember who your first love is. 
I don't care what time of the day it is. If I'm up and God put me uh, standing up to wake up for a purpose, he's going to stand and wake me up with a purpose. Now, if they, if they try to um, set me out of standard where I'm low and thinking I'm a low vibration, you got another thing coming. But, um, but no, I'm not God. I am not whatever case may be. I'm the Sebastian Paul Wheeler that was... I am of God, and um, if you don't believe me, I don't have to worry about fighting for you to, to, to show you nothing. I don't have to show you proof. The only proof I need to know is God is my judge, and at the end of the day, he knows and sees what I'm up to, and he will provide people in your life that he wants you to have, and he will take away people away from your life, and then, you know, saying some even are good people, you know what, sometimes we have to lose them too, sometimes it's part of the story, good people will just be there, and then you have to go, and you just got to move on, Do you, you know what I'm saying, you got, he got to take away just to um, start a new life. And there's people that stalk, and there's people that watch me. And then they all want all of that stuff. But you can't be scared. You can't be scared. Especially, don't, don't fear nobody but God. Understand that. And the most people that fear, the ones that are scared the most are the ones with either weapons or want to fight the most. Do you know why that they scared? Because they put up the sets. They have the they had they fear for their lives. So they fight first. Because they they know that they messed up. See the ones that don't have to fight, don't have to worry about nothing, that's the ones that don't have to worry about anything. They ain't scared. The ones really scared are the ones that starting fights. The ones that are scared because Satan's running busy. As this demon, see, they go to whatever case may be. Lucifer knows his time is soon. That's why he'll spread rumors and be busy all the time. And he knows it. But you see, the thing is this. If we were to come in together in unity, how can we? Because no one gets it. To have true unity, then they should not destroy us, people that believe. You see, to have true unity. Because you guys need us. Understand, I could serve God from afar. I don't need to serve God in... You know what I'm saying? And put on an act or do it in front of the live camera. Or anything like that. I don't need to show where I do it. I don't need to. Because God sees everything I do. Um, He's not going to see in the camera. That's the devil's devices. You see? But, uh. Do I carry a phone around everywhere I go? Well, only I have to, yeah. Of course. But do I use it all the time? No. I lay it down. Of course. But I got to do my job. In every communicative way, freestyling for the Lord, praising the Lord, to show you that I give him his time. And two, you know what I'm saying, is to show you that I pray where it can be. Sometimes I pray alone without you. No. And then as well, I do it here to tell you, talk to you, connect, whatever case may be. And if you don't hear, whose fault is that? That's not mine. So just remember, I do pray and I do give you time. I do all of that. But like I said, I am the most hated. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Regardless of nothing, what I do. But guess what? I still do his work. No matter what I do. But see, the right way to pray is to behind room and close doors. You see, because when you do, once you do on live, they're not doing it for yourselves or for the people. You're doing it to be seen.
You see, once it's on live, whatever case may be, a saving lies, it's not meant to be seen. But you can connect even though when you're far apart because you work what you have and what you can do. Even because even when, you, when you're down in a hospital bed, how are you going to do it? You're going to go on live and preach about the word, right? Or about how your relationship with God is or what's to come or what's this and what's this and what's that. It's to connect, right? But beating up people's beliefs mean I'm not that type of person to argue. Because, yes, I respect people's beliefs, but I'm not going to put people down and say, oh, this is this, oh, yeah, you're bogus this, or you this and that, or this and that. Just because you have more views don't mean nothing. The numbers of views do not matter. Like, God only had 12 disciples. Just because you have more disciples or you're rich, like he said, the poor person that puts two cents in compared to the person that puts a whole $100 bill. The poor person puts all the two cents in, the two pennies, you know what I'm saying? Puts more in because they put all of it in. The rich person only puts 10% in, whatever it keeps them be. Because they want to spend all their money. But see, every time I go in church, and I, I more, more likely nine times out of ten, I put everything I have in there. Nine times out of ten, I always do. Not saying I always have because I'm not perfect. But most of the time, I mean, there's more times than not that I put my all in there. Often without expecting anything. But you know what I'm saying? I pray. You know what I'm saying? For good intentions. And if it, it, it's like to a wrong tray, you know what I'm saying? Uh, without me knowing. You know what? Still, God see my heart intention where it was going. And if for them to rob me out of there and make it for themselves, oh, it's not about y'all. It was about Christ himself. Understand, every time I went to church, it was a Christ intention. But then turn around, they treat me like garbage. They never want to sit by me, whatever case might be. Not saying all the church people are bad. Not saying that. But we all are sinners in the building. We got to remember that we ain't saved and holy. There's sinners in the church. You know what I'm saying? There's more sinners in the church than outside. But your heart intentions is where you're at, where you come from. Call me ugly. Call me what you want. You're hating the flesh. Now, spirits. See? How am I a bad spirit? I'm not cussing you. I'm not looting. I'm not doing evil, wicked behavior. And no, I'm not the prettiest light either. I told you I don't claim I'm perfect. I said my testimony, I confess the truth. I never said I was perfect. <clears throat> and I never claimed that in my mouth. Um, but uh, like I said, if I claimed I was perfect though and I was this holy, you know what I'm saying, saying I don't do nothing, then that's, that's the devil because there's only one God and one perfection. So... Therefore, yes, I do grow. I learn every single day. But I also confess in my songs that you don't listen to me. And that's fine. But guess what? There's only one God and the only reason why I stay up. And this is why he woke me up for some reason. So I'm going to have to stay up. But I'm going to go back to bed soon. And watch. I'm going to give myself some drink. And then I'm just going to go to bed, I guess. Go back to bed. So I served him already, so <laughs> yeah, let's serve this time. So yeah, you know, right now. then guess what? I'm gonna go back and wake up and do the serve this time again. Cause I did fall asleep earlier. But I'm supposed to be in bed trying to get so I won't miss out on an opportunity tomorrow that I got going on. Um but um God bless you all, and I hope and pray for the best, and I hope you guys are doing good, and you guys are great, you're loved, and you understand what a spiritual relationship really is, because when you're in a spiritual relationship with the Most High, that's the highest you could get. Trust me, I know. But I don't know the hour, the day, or the time. I'm not giving you dates. When the world is going to end, nobody knows, only him. But you follow along with him, let it be key. 
There ain't nobody could tell you when the time the world ends, when he's going to come. Only he knows. Ain't nobody guessed it right yet. It ain't December 21st yet. Okay, so before you say you guessed right, that's your problem there. Because he didn't guess right yet. It ain't December 21st. But I'm just saying, though, this lane, though, is that they get you granted to this key. But no, actually, no. God is key. Jesus is key. But, you know what I'm saying? But happiness, yes. Happiness is a great thing to have. Um, but as well, there's going to be bumps on roads. So, yes, you need your imperfections because if you say perfected, then what's the point of having God? You see, you know everything. No, you learn everything little by little. There's new beginnings. There's a new heavens and stuff. There's a spiritual aspect in this realm. There's people that this, you know, are lost position. But to have the spiritual relationship, guess what? You have to have God. To have anything, you have to have God. God made everything possible. The Almighty High, Alpha, Omega, beginning and first and last. That's why we will always be kneeling at his feet. He was the spirit before anything else. He's the alpha spirit. What's the alpha? The beginning. The the, the main. The, the thing that you just don't you just can't explain. Okay? Just to let you know.